Hey guys, Luke here and welcome back to Season 2, Episode 4 of Win 1, Take 1. In this episode, we're going to be taking on the New Zealand Warriors. I'm also going to be taking on the Penrith Panthers. So uh, there's definitely some good players up for grabs in this one, in particular the Warriors game. It actually shocks me that Penrith um, came higher than them in the ladder in 2013. Although, we obviously know that Warriors are very hot and cold, so that could be the reason for it. In terms of our team, uh, we had we had a pretty good episode. Well, we had a, a few good episodes in terms of pickups. Uh, in the last few episodes, we picked up uh, Dugan, picked up um, a few halves players. We've got Sam Williams and Peter Wallace in the last game. We've got Gerard Yaya in the wing. Another, I would class him as a superstar back when he was, you know, when he's playing. Obviously, retired now due to injury, uh, which is such a shame. But I'm very good, glad to have him in the side. Uh, but we are getting a few repeat players, which is a little bit disappointing, but. It is what it is. Now, Big Manu makes a break here. We've got someone coming across and cover here. It's a Peter Wallace, I think. And something wrong with the game. They don't usually go... They don't, like, go to the player. They rather run next to him. And that's what nearly happened. Thankfully, uh, we sort of got over just in time. Now, they're going to get a few offloads here. They even put on a big shoulder barge himself there. And I did feel it was necessary to give away a penalty just to slow down the ruck a little bit. Because uh, he was going way too fast. A quick play of the ball would have been there. Now, moving on to the fourth tackle, they put up an early bomb, and we're going to force it dead. Uh, not ideal, but another repeat set for them, and just constantly defending our own line. Then we follow it up with another high tackle here, we're going to shift it to the left. We have Kevin Locker gets it off to Conrad Harrell, and obviously Conrad Harrell, he's just a big wrecking ball. He just goes straight over, and he's going to get the ball down, and he scores. He opens up the scoring in under 20 minutes, so uh, unfortunately we couldn't um, last the first 20 minutes, but... I mean, I suppose it doesn't really matter when they score. So then we have left-footed Sean Johnson because the game thinks Sean Johnson's left-footed, as well as some other ones, some weird ones. It's it was strange. In the it was in the roster update, I think, or maybe even just another update after that. For some reason, they swapped some people's uh, feet there. And we got Grant here, a winger, who ends up with the ball, and he's going to spill it. What the hell? What the hell is that? I couldn't like when that happened. I, at first, I couldn't believe we actually got the ball to start off with, let alone score a try, but obviously drop the ball, and it doesn't happen very often, but I suppose that just shows, you know, when you've got Marnie Vatify and you're up against a person, you probably wouldn't even make yourself ask up, um, you know, that, that stuff's going to happen, but I mean, I, you know, they've done a pretty good job so far, he's got decent enough speed, I'm fine with him at the moment, but it would be nice if we can get him, Marnie Vatify, that'd be good, and right on the brink of half time, Josh Dugan comes up with an awesome play here, can't quite get around Kevin Locke, but... I mean, it was worth an effort, right? Maybe I should have just stopped and popped the field goal. <laughs> a 6-1 at half-time. A bit of a soccer score, but whatever. Anyways, uh, well, it's actually 6-0. I was just talking. Hypotheticals there. Dry yeah, yeah, he comes off with the ball here. Good stuff by Big Gerard. And we've got to capitalise on this. We just get a big foo-fooey. The New Zealander scoring against the Warriors. And just too easy, that one. We just had to get it to him. I think that should be what we do more with our side. I mean, we're not the strongest side. Uh, we are getting a lot better. We are a pretty strong side, but not quite an overall quality, I'd say, at this stage. Uh, but we have to capitalise on our strengths, and, uh, you know, our forwards are definitely our strength. I mean, Wayman's uh, pretty good. Uh, Marin's quite good. Uh, I mean, even Joseph Polo is quite damaging um, in the second row here. But they're going to throw an intercept here to Grant. Uh, he dropped the ball before. That was my fault. I thought... I was, like, sort of bracing for the tackle. I didn't expect to get the offload. Thankfully, the Warriors don't make us pay. They throw a forward pass. At lefty Sean Johnson uh, throws a forward pass. Actually, I think he might have been on the receiving end. I can't remember. Now, Australia, yeah, he had a pretty good game so far. But he's all going to, uh, you know, go wrong just there. And he goes over the sideline. Now, we get it out to Grant. Inside ball there to uh, Joel Edwards, who he picked up from the Raiders. And Josh Dugan can't get the last offload away. But it's not where the play is going to end here. We're going to get it to Big Fooey. I mean, it's not ideal. Look, he's very, very deep. But you're going to do a shoulder barge to one. Get the offload away to Paulo, who also gets an offload. Tim Simona. We've got a broken defensive line here. And uh, sort of looking for a field goal at this stage, just due to the fact that it's right at the end. Now, Fooey come up with a big shoulder barge there. Now, they're in all sorts here, the Warriors. It has slowed down a little bit. But Peter Wallace going to get nice and deep here. Is it over? It's over. It's game over. 7-6. How it's going to finish. And what an ending to the game, to be totally honest with you. Um, I think it's uh, the ending is fitting for the whole game. But we're going to see here. They actually do a short kickoff. Not a very good one. But it nearly works out for the Madalena on the ball. Mick Wade, what are you doing? Wayman, come on. Hold the ball. Nah, it, it wasn't my fault, for sure. It was, Wayman just did it. Anyways, I thought that was interesting. I showed that because I've never actually seen them do a short kickoff on here. Like, they could be down 
by four with you know after the bell and they don't do anything in terms of like keep offloading or anything that I've noticed. Like a lot of the times, if it's just in open play, they'll just run and take a tackle like normal. So it's interesting, interesting to see there must be something in that that makes them know that they're losing and need to do something, do something desperately. But the first play we end up picking up is Money Vatavai, exceptional pickup, especially considering. Uh, our winger kept stuffing up earlier, so we can get rid of him. Sam Rapira, another prop. I mean, it would have been nice to get some second rowers, but uh, wasn't meant to be. But Elijah Taylor, we got another good lock who we, uh, who can play second row, so I'll definitely be throwing Elijah Taylor in the second row. And he's one of my favourite players in real life that's not at the Bulldogs, so I'm very happy with Elijah Taylor, and I, I would love to have him in real life at the Bulldogs. That'd be awesome. Moving on to the next game, which is Elijah Taylor's current club, the Panthers. Uh, I can't remember who was exactly in their side, but I know Lachlan Coote was in their side. Um, I think Dean Viro was at fullback. They, you know, they have a few decent players in there. Uh, Brent Kite's another one who was at the club, I think, at this stage, possibly. Oh, no. No, he wasn't. Scratch that. Don't don't worry about that. Brent Kite was not in the side. We'll have a look here. Um, so, yeah, Lachlan Coote. Luke Walsh should have been okay, but we've already got halves. Lewis Brown I've had before, who's pretty good. Sam McKendry would be another good pickup. Um, so, yeah, they've got a few good players there. Kevin Kingston, their captain at the time. So... Yeah, definitely got some good players. Not as good as the Warriors, I'd say, but nice. And Mick Wayman comes up with a huge play. Finished the last game off pretty poor, but starts off this game with a massive shot. Now, Luke Walsh straight for a gap here. Interesting to see whether he whether he would be a lefty or a right footer. Because I believe he's a right footer in real life. And we're going to get an offload here. Manu Vatavai just showing his strength. Palms off one. He tries to take on Lock and Coot or whoever it is at the back there. And uh, couldn't do it, but we got close. Actually, I think it was Varo. Vatavai just got a draw and pass here. He does. But Elijah Taylor ends up dying with the ball there. It was on the last tackle. It was worth a shot. Now, moving on to second tackle. It's just been all us so far. Vatavai just sort of swerving and trying to step there. Nothing really going on f for him. But Andrew McCullough's going to go straight through the gap there. And what a run that was by Andrew McCullough. I'm very happy with that. We've had Andrew McCullough before, and I know he's a great player. So I was pretty happy when we ended up picking him up. And plus, he's a good defender, but he's just shown there. He's got a little bit of toe in him. He can uh, just go straight for a gap if needed and uh, score a try. I was very happy with that. Keeps the defense on edge. Now, Chris Lawrence went through a gap there. Yeah, yeah, he's going to finish it off here. We've got a player coming across, but he's not going to get there. It's going to be another one, another classic example of the game. Just running next to a player rather than coming across and tackling. Although, I think we would have been able to finish that one anyways. I'd like to think so anyways. Now, Peter Wallace has taken over the goal king in this stage. Is he the best one? I think so. Um... I think he's definitely the best option for us in terms of goal kicking. We have, we have Josh Dugan. We've we've had uh, the center we were using at the start, but I think he's dropped out of the side at this stage. So uh, he's obviously not there. Now Sam Rapira, he went through a gap there. Nothing's really going to come of it at this stage, but we're going to put in a nice kick, you think, here. Or not. We're going to run it. All good. Guess it. Chris Lawrence down the wing here. Jiraiya yeah, Yi. What can he do? He puts in a grab himself, and where's Naguama is going to get it? Oh, no. Seguiara, sorry. J James Seguiara. I thought it was Naguama. Whoops. Uh, but yeah, Segaro made some pretty good meters, but thankfully we had some players who were deep and were able to make the tackle. And they come up with a big run there with Lewis Brown, Josh Dugan. I'm really happy to have Dugan at the back there. He's pretty safe in terms of defense. But they are going to have another chance here, and I think that one was Naguama. He should have scored himself there, but he ended up just running over the ball. Now they're going to have another chance here, and Brad Ty is going to go in for a try here. That was bad for me. I went for the big shot with Dugan, and I just missed completely. Completely misread it. And Brad Ty, he just goes over so easily. But at the same time, that was a good play from uh, Panthers, getting the offloads away. And, you know, back in the contest, you got to say, I do say, I do have to say, a lot of the times, I feel pretty comfortable when we get a few try lead. But when they score a try like that, that's not really super lucky. I sort of think, oh, shit. But Manu Vadova is going to get pretty lucky. He just switched the defense. He didn't even change direction. Nothing. Now, Andrew McCullough hasn't got enough pace to sort of get around this defender. But uh, we're going to continue on with the play here. Mitch Rain goes through the gap here. He's pretty slow in this game, Mitch Rain. If that was in real life, maybe he would have picked that one up. But Sicko Manu, he, he picks off the ball. And he's racing away. Good Josh Dugan coming across. Can't make the tackle. Seeing how safe he is when he misses. Tim Simona can't make the uh, tackle as well. As it was an offload. But thankfully, we wrap him up eventually. Now, we're going to throw a cut-out pass here. Tim Simona, not the best-looking cut-out pass, but it did the job. And sort of gets us out of danger. Uh, you know, second tackle, we're pretty deep in our own half. Now, Sam Williams, to try and show up the game, we can't do it. We miss, and it's dead in goal. There is no seven tackle on here for us, but this is going to kill off the game. Big moment of Valdivai. Picks off a pass here, and uh, game over. It is on full-time as well, so, you know, it, if we, we probably were going to win either way. Had we not got the intercept, we would have just defended um, Josh Dugan probably would have come up with a tackle, but 
Uh, well, you think, I like think so anyways, but anyway, it's just reassuring. Uh, it's a little bit of a shame we couldn't get that extra two points at some stage to try and get the extra player, but, you know, it wasn't meant to be. I'm, I'm happy with the three players, you know. Every player can, um, helps, so I'm not going to complain about that one. Amount of out of our man in the match, though. So let's take a look at what three players we're actually going to get. So we're going to get number 13, number 9, and number 3. Let's take a look at who they get. So that's Nathan Smith. He's number 13. I'm not really familiar. I know he was at the Bulldogs Reserve Grade, I believe. Um, I think he was a lock slash hooker. He's not really in my plans, to be honest with you. Kevin Kingston would have been a great pickup had we not had Andrew McCullough. I thought he's a good backup, and he can also play uh, in, in the forwards at a stretch. So you probably carry him on the bench. And where's the Guama? Uh, Tim Simona is, you know, he's a solid player, but... Uh, obviously, nagama has got a lot more pace, and I feel pace is a lot more important. Simona isn't particularly that strong, but Nagama just seems like a better play in this game. So we'll probably go with Nagama. Anyways, that's where the video is going to end. Hopefully, you have enjoyed episode 4. If you did, if you can leave a like, it would be very much appreciated. 20 is what we're going for. And make sure you leave a like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, follow me on Twitter, at MrLukeNYT, uh, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.